yeah, we're just going to get started and go live. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, hope everybody's doing well today. Welcome, welcome. Another Friday. Sorry I couldn't see everybody last week. Just the uh, internet was not being too kind. So I thought I would, you know, not hedge any bets on things going down or anything. So I figured may as well just bite the bullet, say I couldn't stream last week, come back this week, all nice and fresh, and hopefully the internet connection will be stable and seems to be stable so far. So again, welcome, welcome. Hope you will enjoy. Hey, hi, hi, hi. Just give me one minute. Funny I should mention about the disconnections. I got disconnected. <laughs> I think I let it. Uh, I think I let it idle for too long. But hey, how you doing, uh, Greg? Hope you're doing well. Yeah. So we're just gonna. I'm just gonna get back in there. I just have to wait for a queue to get in. And we'll get started. Oh gosh. Ugh. Yeah, looking forward to this. The other thing I'm looking forward to, well, actually enjoying, is I finally got a mic arm for my mic. I never had one before. Previously, I was using a special little box, so it just makes things a lot easier now <laughs> to, well, stream and record and everything else rather than trying to fiddle with the box each time. So just give me a second. I'm just going to switch on over. Transition. There we go. And what we'll do it's what started. So how are you doing, Greg? How's your day going so far? I'm just glad that it's Friday. I'm just so glad that it's Friday. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's working. Fantastic! I'm just gonna give it another minute or two just to have anybody else come on in and settle in and hopefully we do we'll get started shortly afterwards but yeah oh man what a day so far what a day uh what else been going on today um been trying to edit that one fishing video or trails which is <laughs> been a bit of a nightmare truth be told the amount of times that i had to do kind of tired but oh geez or is it better now or is it still sort of cut off uh let's see let's see um, do, 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 do. yeah, it's sort of cut off to the most part because just with my screen and I'm working with my laptop, so I'm trying to do it in such a way that it's I'm trying not to cut it off too, too much, but also need to make sure that I can see it to some degree too, so that I can view. OBS and everything else. I only work with one screen. I don't have a multi-screen setup, unfortunately. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do here. Beyond the Great Wall. Who oh, is this voiced? I hope it's voiced. The question is, Yay, how it will Empire respond to the disappearance of Omega and the Primal? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see you there. Forgive me. Word from Balesar's wall is proving long in the coming, and my mind cannot help but stray to grim places. Uh, yeah. Alphano, a message from the Alliance. It's about time. Pray summon the others at once. Hmm. Yes, sir. I have to find a good sort of resolution that I can use for displaying everything. 
General Aldin reports that his forces have secured the breach in Baelsar's wall. So in that way I can sort of view everything and everybody else can view everything and I can still access what I need from OBS at the same time. Omega. I wish I could adjust the size no of the speech of bubbles time. though. He writes that they will begin That's a one thing I haven't quite figured out. Shortly. And as expected, he wishes to petition the aid of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Mm, that makes sense. As expected. Oh yeah, the I have to get used to her new look. The capture a part of Baelsar's wall is open to interpretation. Hmm? The wall serves to demarcate Imperial territory, Alamigo included, from the rest of Eorzea. Right. To an observer, the Alliance's actions could be seen as a prelude to invasion. Oh. Okay, I see where they're going. Indeed. And the Alliance leaders have no wish to be branded invaders. Uh-huh. That's the, that's the Imperial's job. You're fight for Alamigo. Even after everything that's happened. <laughs> Not without the consent Politics of the people, really... no. Make no mistake, Lise. The Alliance is in complete agreement that the Empire must be purged from Eorzea. Mm -hmm. However, they will not set foot in Gear Abania until they have formally secured the consent and cooperation hey, of the Alamigan opposition. Came here just inside in time too. They would have us act as intermediaries. Precisely. The Scions are unique. Oh. Okay. Give me a minute. Let me just see if i can transition this over no worries no worries uh give me a minute let me see if i can get this back this is now the second time of 90 k this is not good uh let me try to log in again and then i'll switch back Da, 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 da. I really have to create a new like scene in OBS or like technical difficulties or be right back or something. I haven't really done that yet. It's something I really should do. I just need to figure out what graphic I'm going to use for it. I try to draw one myself, but I'm not that great for artist work. Uh, all right. So, unfortunately, what that means is that I have to watch the whole cutscene again. <laughs> so, let's try this again. And see if we have better luck. The question is, how will the Empire respond to the disappearance of Omega and the Primal? Yeah. See if I can skip through a lot of this other stuff that we just finished oh, watching. I didn't see you there. Forgive me. Word from Baelsar's wall is proving long in the coming. And my mind cannot help. Mm-hmm. Grim places, grim spaces. Alpha, and a message from the precious Ataru. It's about time. Pray summon the others at once. And I don't yes, necessarily sir. want to skip the cutscene because that means I skip everything, I think. So I just don't want to be missing out on something important. Uh come on. Let's go, let's go. General o And what of the primal and a Yeah, primal and Omega. No, sign, of either at no this time. sign. And as expected, he wishes to petition. Expected. Yep. The alliance's decision to capture and oh, come on. The wall serves to demarcate to an observer, the Alliance's actions could be seen as a prelude to invasion. Yeah. So we Indeed. just have to be really careful. And the Alliance leaders have no wish to be branded invaders. Mm-hmm. You're saying they won't fight for Alamigo? Even after everything that's happened? Not without the consent of her people, no. Make no mistake, Lise. The Alliance is in complete agreement that the Empire must be purged from Eorzea. The thing is, though, you just don't necessarily want all at war, though, right? However, they will not set foot in Gear Abania until they have formally secured the consent and cooperation of the Alamegan opposition. So, with the Alamegan opposition, is 
they don't necessarily have a government or anything, though, because they've been taken over by the Empire. So... The rebels? Or however you want to put it? They would have us act as intermediaries. Mm-hmm. Precisely. The, the resistance. Okay, that was the exact phrase I was looking for. That is to say, leases, given her personal connection to the resistance. Who better than you to broker an agreement between the Alliance and the people of Alamigo? Assuming you are willing, of course. <laughs> of course I am! You know I'd like nothing more! It's gonna take me a while to get used to Lisa's new look. Hi! Welcome, welcome! As for who should accompany Glad you're able to make it mission, here. I had a mind just, to volunteer uh, myself. We just started off. Unfortunately, we got off to a little bit of a rocky start because I had a 90k error. So, hoping for smoother sailing. Well, that covers the talking part. But you just know there'll be trouble along the way. Are you available? <laughs> Aren't I always available? You know, Girl Friday? <laughs> As if you have to ask. Thanks. It means a lot knowing you'll be there. I too shall accompany you. Such endeavors are seldom in fingers crossed. healers. Good point. Allow me to offer my services as well. Okay, more Kral. I like Kral. <laughs> I have spent quite enough time here. And her so it's just coming, so adorable. But we will need someone to keep an eye on things. <laughs> I trust you have no objections. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll leave Ryoshi in charge and hopefully he won't do anything stupid. None, my lady. Gladly shall I continue to serve as caretaker of the Waking Sands and there keep watch for signs of primal and Asian activity both. And no, you know, joining forces with the Asians to try to do some shady dealings, hopefully. As capable as my learned friend undoubtedly is, there are some troubles that may prove too much for a single scion, on account of which I mean to stay. No! I wanted the intro to come along. <laughs> it is settled then. Let us each see to our preparations. Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh, new music. New music. Yay. So, speak with Alpha No. Uh, oh, there you are. There you are, Alfie. Ready, my friend? Yeah, my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. Thing is, though, that talks about taking, like, well, then, going to the Tataru, airport and everything, I leave the which I'm not. Stones in your capable hands. <laughs> oh, by Tataru. Don't worry, Alphano. I'll see that the place is still standing when you come back. Oh, I hope that she's going to keep it still standing and, you know, not rubble. Well, she's trustworthy. She'll be fine. Yeah, I did do the collaboration um, with Final Fantasy XV, so I did get the um, the car. Uh, and I got the outfit and the hairstyle. I didn't bother getting the triple triad card because I don't play triple triad. Quest turn to music comes in room for me. Or since just about sitting along the... You completed. <laughs> oh gosh, I, I have not seen that. Oh, I should check that out, but I fear getting spoiled. Uh, <laughs> I'll see if I can check out his videos. I do like watching them. I do like uh, watching some of his other content from time to time. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, Hikiri! And 
goes sets sail. Has unfolded if all. I remember correctly. You are bound for Girabania? Mm-hmm. I, Hi, Willow. The Alliance would have us make contact with the Alamegan resistance oh, gosh, as soon as possible. Gosh, it's really busy here today. This is awesome. Oh, gosh. It begins then. As soon it shall in Doma, if the gods are good. Tis but a pity it must be now. I am sorry that we shall not be present to fight beside you in the battles to come. Oh, that's right. She mentioned she had to leave, and, that, and Gosatsu was... Coming to get her? To go back to Doma? If I remember correctly? You have stood with us countless times, Lady Yugiri. Pray do not apologize. I do miss her, though. She's... I like Yugiri. Then let us thank you instead. Mm -hmm. You and yours stood with us from the first, when we came to this land as refugees in search of sanctuary. Yeah, back in... ARR. Oh, well, I'm glad you're able to come at least for a little bit. It's good to see you. Yeah, I just felt bad that I couldn't stream last week and was missing out on starting this, but glad that uh, we were able to do it today. But again, happy to have you at least for a little bit. And of course, you can always um, check out the video afterwards uh, because it will be available on YouTube later if you do want to catch up. <laughs> Loath am I to think what might have become of my people, had you not extended to us the hand of friendship. We will never forget. This I solemnly swear. <sighs> Much has changed since first you set foot on these shores. Revenant's Toll stands as a testament to that. I'm sure your people has will manage in your absence. Hotel. I think I've heard of it. Um... Somebody here had some music from Has Been Hotel. I haven't heard it. I hadn't listened to it at all, but I know they purchased some music from uh, Apple iTunes. But yeah, it mentioned Has Been Hotel. I haven't really watched it, though. I was sort of interested, but I don't know if I'll get around to it anytime soon. There's a lot of stuff I do need to do. Indeed. They have built a new home for themselves and no longer need me to shepherd them. The time it's has come for Gosetsu and I to return to our master. To mm. our home. Uh, hell of a boss. Haven't heard that one at all, unfortunately. Again, it'll probably be something that I'll have to check out a little bit later. And see what I think. I know how you feel. It's time I went home too. Now, how will people react to Lee's going home? Because she hasn't been there for many years. I think what her sister got her out when she was a little kid. I, I want to say, if, if I remember correctly, it was five. Like she was aged five. Or, uh, well, either way, like a toddler when she left, so she really hasn't... She obviously wouldn't have been able to go home since, so I'm just wondering as to how people would react to her. Though our battlefields be a thousand miles apart, our purpose is one. That all men hearken to the clarion call of freedom, of liberation, from Eorzea to the Far East, that they may rise up and cast down the curse of Garlemald. So... I guess the way I can see this expansion planning out is that this is like the war expansion versus the previous expansion, which is more of medieval fantasy. I guess it's the best way for me to describe it. Take care, you hear me? When all of this is over, we're going to celebrate together. Just you wait. That sounds like a plan. I should like that very much. Fare you well. Bye, Akiri. Definitely do. Husband Hotel is more musical stuff than Hell of Us, only for. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Intent? Oh, thank you very much for the confirmation about that. Thank you.
a thousand moms apart, yet united in purpose. Let us pray both of our endeavors meet with success. Shall we then? Let shall. Let's go. How are we going to get over there? Wait, 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 wait. Not, not just yet. I knew I'd forgotten something important. Please, could you come with me? Oh. Me? What now? Um, all right then. If, if you insist. Makeover time. It's got to be. Everybody else got a makeover and she hasn't got one yet. And Unfortunately, Papa Limo didn't get a chance to have his makeover. Oh! Oh, we'll play six years in hell. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? I like the top. The sabatons. Eh, they don't really do it for me. But I like the top. And I've, um... I've seen that in the... Uh, in the store. In the Moogle shop. As you can see, I designed it to be light and loose. An outfit, uh, an outfit tailor-made to the needs of a skilled fighter like these. Your work never ceases to impress. Much more of this, and I may have to stop introducing you as the science receptionist and start referring to you as a, our permanent seamstress. Oh, why not both? Yeah, why not both? It's lovely, Tataru, thank you. I feel like I could take on a legion. Well, aren't you going to be taking on a legion? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. And with that, I'll delay you no longer. Safe travels! Then onward to Gear Abania. Our first stop will be in Amaras Amara 6 Spire in the East Shot. Oh, yeah! That's... Oh... <laughs> It's been a, it has been that long, but then I forget as to how to get over everywhere. Okay, so have to teleport, and it was Hawthorne Head, I think. That's where I need to go. <laughs> Forgive me, I got a little bit of a tickle in my throat. It hasn't really gone away yet, and. Somebody else in the house also has a tickle in their throat, but funny story though. Uh, you know how they usually have those lozenges in those um, packages so you can pop them out so you can get them as you need them? I was in the bathroom just uh, grabbing something and then they wanted to get a lozenge, which they did. They uh, opened up the packaging and they're popping out the actual lozenge. What actually happened is it flew up in the air, hit me on the head, and then rolled to the ground. That's the first time I've ever seen anything happen like that. That was really ridiculous. But yeah, <laughs> it was something I've never seen fly. <laughs> Has been hotel takes place in the pride ring and have lost in the other. Oh, okay. Okay. Again, what I'll have to do is I'll have to take a look at that later. Obviously, I can't really do that right now. But um, yeah. I'll take a peek and I'll make mention as to what I think when I've had a chance to view it all. And oh, where am I going? Uh, no, not Little Solace. It was right. It was here, wasn't it? I need to go to. Yeah, everybody is here. And off no. Oh, there he is. I was wondering where he went to. All are present and accounted for. When you are ready, my friend, pray inform the officer that we wish to proceed into Kira Abania. Oh! Speak to him. Okay. Ah, the seven signs of the seventh dawn. We were told to expect you. Shall I summon someone to escort you to the wall? Yes, please. Castrim Oriens. New zone! Dude's own. Oh, cool. Oh, 
I like the little crack in there in the, in the sea. Oh, cool. Hi! Hello, hello! Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. I remember crossing the border. Standing in Girabania once more. Me and my fellow Scions. The warrior of light among us. Lots of metal. Again, welcome to the stream. Happy to have you. Us, and yeah, starting off Stormblood. <laughs> Freedom on one side, tyranny on the other. Oh, the music. Tyranny and the promise of a new beginning. But one that could only be born oh, nice. with flames and blood. And the name Stormblood. Right? Ooh. Very nice, very nice. Oh, very cool effect. Uh it's Okay, let me just write that down. Give me one moment, guys. I just need to pull up my pen for a second. Okay, got that written down. Oh! Oh, this is pretty! Well, not really pretty as in Castrums really can't be pretty, but the music's nice, and I like the trees. But first, of course, a tune. And... Robon, my friend! Oh, gosh. Hope you remembered your Aether current. Oh, yeah, I still have that. Well, it's... Um, they put it in one particular area. I don't know if I can lose it. So, but yeah, you're right. I have to start trying to find Aether Current points again, don't I? Oh, more exploring. Oh gosh, Raban. Greetings, Zions. On behalf of this or Eorzean Alliance, I welcome you to Castrum Orion's. Uh, thank you, General. We were relieved to hear that your forces secured the wall with that incident. Have the Imperials made any attempt to retake the Castrum since then? None. Can't lose it. Yay! All right. I was worried because I was thinking... Oh, thank you, Willow. See you later. Thank you for coming by. Hope to see you again soon. Yeah, I was worried that I would... Uh, Hinton, I was actually worried because I was thinking... You can't lose that thing, but then I was then I was wondering, oh wait, maybe I'm misremembering and I can lose a thing. And I tend to lose a lot of things. So I'm grateful to hear that I can't lose it. None. Save for a few skirmishes between our scouts and their patrols, we have barely any contact with them. But we all know it's only a matter of time before things escalate. As if attacking Belsar's wall wasn't enough, weren't enough, Ilbert summoned a primal right on their doorstep. And Garlemald is not like to let shows of defiance go unanswered. No, they never do. It was a declaration of war, even if it were not Ilbert's to make. And now we are bound by it, for weal or for woe. The science stands ready to serve, General. What would you ask of us? As stated in my message, the Alliance will not proceed without the support and cooperation of the Alamegan people. We would have you serve as our emissaries and make contact with Resistance. Consider it done, General. We won't let you down, I swear. Then I'll leave it to you, Godspeed. Wait, he's from Alamigo too though, isn't he? But he's... He considers himself all da, all, um, all da, uh, an old uh, person now, so I guess he can't really go out to make the necessary connections himself. Does that sound right? Or am I not thinking correctly? Oh, Sid! 
I was not. Sorry. Oh, wait, you're looking for Omega. That's right. Ha! Huh, of all the Castra in the world, you walk into mine. And Master Garland, what brings you here? Well, you guys are going after Omega, right? A certain missing elegant weapon in demonic primal. Draconic primal. <laughs> Omega and Shinryu, I think this shinobi called it? Anyway, we've been staying their trail of destruction, hoping it might lead us somewhere, which it has singularly failed to do. He's got some pretty serious and permanent ties to old uh, being a member of the syndicate. Oh yeah, that's true, because he won a place in the syndicate, he won his freedom, and he commands the old Dun military and is with Nanamo. So yeah, you're right. That would probably be holding him back from doing anything with Alamigo. Whew. Then tis like Omega fell to Earth in occupied territory, meaning it may already be in Imperial hands. Wait, didn't they put it to sleep though? Or they told it to go to sleep? Even so, it bears repeating that we engage the stasis systems. Okay, yeah, that was right. I did remember correctly. Assuming the command was received and executed successfully, the weapon will be of no use to them. Assuming. We should hurry up and find it regardless. Hmm, that's probably a good idea. All the more reason to reach out to the resistance. If we want to press on into Burabania, we'll need their blessing. Everyone's counting on us. Let's not waste any more time talking. Yes, nod. Because <laughs> that's all the warrior light does, is nod. Ooh, lots of XP. Uh, Lise. Lise takes the lead. Oh boy. As you probably heard, there are plenty of factions in the Resistance, so I'm taking us to see the one with most influence. Their headquarters are located in a place called Ralgar's Reach. Ralgar. That's, um... That's one of the names of the Twelve if I recall correctly, because we saw in Little Alamigo there was something there for Ralgar as well. Or there are people talking about Ralgar there. They were trying to summon Ralgar, I think. An old temple to the east of here, across the Velo... Velodina River? I learned a route that should allow us to avoid Imperial patrols. Stick with me, and we'll be there before you know it. Well, first, we have to speak to the Chocobo Keep. And we'll have to find if there's any, um, Aether Currents nearby. A lot of the music from Storeblood. It's low five vibe. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. I like low five stuff. Well met, Traveler. May I interest you in a Chocobo Porter? Ah, do not tell me. This is your first visit to this stop. I shall update my register with your name so that you may access this location in the future. Oh, I don't want to do that right now. Oh, fudge. Yeah, there we go. 271 to, and attuned to... Oh, I think I attuned already. Let me just double check just to be sure. The last thing I want to do is to leave here and then realize... Oh, wait, I didn't. Oh, I did. Okay, good. Phew, thank you for reminding me, Hidden. Very good, remind me. And, uh, Mum, uh, Mumberry, uh, thank you very much for the information. Uh, I'll try to see if I can find some music from Stormblood so I can put on, uh, my Castrian. Because I think I have one. And, depending on how much I like the music, I may end up picking up some and maybe putting it on my mini disc later. So in that way I can listen to it on the go. Lush. Uh, those look different than the other walking trees I've seen before. Okay. Uh, I am going to bring my birdie out. Just in case. And... Where do I need to go? South... East... That's this way. Uh... 
270201. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, gosh. Holy crow, they grow the bees big here. That thing's huge. Oh, oh. And whereabouts do I need to go? 177 to the south. Okay, so not that far. Oh, well, I'm not wanting to do a fate right now. Thank you very much, game. Oh. Let's see if I can get around this leshy without being spotted. Actually, what I can do is I can ride my bird. It won't be fast, but at least I can ride. Oh. Uh. Wait. Where was that? 94 to the south. Okay, guys, hold on. Hold tight for a minute. Let me... Oh, there it is. Oh. Okay, found it. It's by the bridge. Let me attune to that. Then I can speak to... Lee's and the others. One down. A bunch more to go. Up. Oh. Ah, there we go. For a second there, I was worried I was not going to be able to get back up. Which would be problematic. Very problematic. And I don't want to join a fate right now. Still with me? Good. From here, we'll need to head northeast towards the river. The water's not too deep, so we won't have to swim. Oh, good, because, well, I don't know how well... I s well, I don't know if I swim. Well, my clothes get all soaked and I just don't know how well they, they're gonna dry. Oh, shoot. Okay, let's deal with you. Oh, creep might be. Alright. Uh, give me a second, folks, and let me just deal with this. And Birdie, please help me. <laughs> oh, there we go. Much better. Oh, that's a huge... Buzzy friend. And I'm not very fond of buzzy friends, especially... Not in real life. They freak me out a little bit too much. Yes, I'm scared of bees and wasps. Uh, yuck. Uh, oh, that must be the river they're talking about. Hike Falls. Uh, well, I'm hoping today to get a fair bit done. I don't know as to how many quests I'll be able to do. I'll be able to play for... Maybe about a couple hours, maybe three? Really depends on the time and what else I have to do. But we'll find a good space to stop eventually, but for now, just enjoy what we see. I don't see any soldiers. Good. Let's cross. Uh, is it going to be okay for Kryle? Like, she's shorter than everybody. Is she going to be able to wa waddle through, or does she need somebody to help her? Mm, excuse me. You're wondering about the tower to the south? Uh, it's hard to see. It's very foggy. Well, thank you, game, for showing me what it looks like. Oh, that's the Imperial sy symbol. It's part of pa Castellum Beldonia. That's what the Imperials decided to call the old bridge after they fortified it. I call it a great big eyesore. Honestly, you can see that rotten banner from absolutely miles away. <sighs> they never miss a chance to rub our noses in it, do they? Come on, we should keep moving. Uh, well, okay, so it's not too deep. I guess Lollafels would be fine to get through this. 
if they're any deeper, it'd be troublesome for them to get through. Oh, speaking of lollipops, there's one there. He's fishing. I'm gonna let him be. Oh, and that's a big crocodile, too. Striped hills. Oh, new location. Yay! And that's, uh... What is that? Uh... Somebody I should probably leave alone? I would say it almost looks like a vulture. Sort of. Anyway, what do we have for here? Oh, uh, 232 to the east. Well, I need to go east anyway. So let's just go keep on going east. And eventually, I'm hoping I'll be able to find my etherite point or my ether current. Uh, 114 to southeast. Okay, so this way. Oh, somewhere around here. Or Sprite. 63 to the south. Um. Oh, there it is. There you are, little Aether Current. I found you. I think what I might do, though, is just look for a lot of the aether currents well not on stream so that way i can try to focus in on what the heck is this oh i saw these in um uh in a video for uh 1.0 that I saw on YouTube once. These, this is a Imperial machine, isn't it? Like it flies. I don't know if it does anything, if it's just a scout thing or if it fires anything. This looks like a, this looks like a thing that I saw in that video. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. I am totally getting distracted, which is normal for me. Okay. What? Following the ri Imperial Dreadnought. Oh, okay. Were those like scout ships or did they actually have a lot of firearms on them and they used to carry those out in war? I'd be thinking that it's... Well, actually, if it were a scout ship, I'd think that it would be smaller, so it'd be harder to detect. Versus... Um, something as large as that. But... I don't know that much about the Garlean Emperor right now. And less of what they did in 1.0. So, I'm not 100% sure as to what kind of purpose these dreadnoughts served. Actually, just give me one second. Oh, that's better. Needed some water. This is a canyon, so what exactly is this for? We're here. On the other side of this pass is Rogger's Reach. And both. It looked like small horizontal profile so the flying pencil, but heavily armed. Oh! Oh gosh, that's that's a nightmare for people that are, that are uh, usually go to school. Imagine, imagine this flying pencils. That'd be scary as all heck. <laughs> the uh, school nightmares coming to life. So you say, but all I see are rocks. I assume there's some sort of trick to this. Again, uh, Mumberry, thank you very much for the information. I appreciate it. Indeed. A glamour. Good eye, Yustola. I take it they have a talented mage in their ranks, or may have an artificer trained in the modification of glamour prisms? Something like that. The important thing is that it fools the Garleans. Oh, 
uh, before we go in, I don't know if Tataru told you, but my friend Nago, the messenger who came to the Rising Stones, is a member of this faction. Oh, okay. So they know us, and they shouldn't attack us on sight. That said, they can be a bit jumpy, so let me lead the way and, um... <clears throat> uh, don't go reaching for your weapons or anything. Okay. Oh, she's removing the glamour? And with a sprinkle of demasking dust, all is laid bare. For a second there, she was I thought she was going to say, And here is pixie dust. But apparently, I guess that won't be necessary. Okay. So, go straight. Oh, does anybody else have to say anything, though? Let us pray that they are amenable to our proposal. United, we stand to accomplish so much more. Impressive or no, 20 years is a long time for even so complex a glamour to escape the Empire's notice. Yeah, if that were the case, you'd be thinking that the Empire was, like, already aware of it by now. Aww. Seeing it now, I feel rather foolish for not deduced it earlier. And I say? I suppose you could disguise almost anything with glamour prism if you really wanted to. Have you ever used one? Why am I asking? Of course you haven't. What do you mean, of course I haven't? All my stuff is glamoured. <laughs> oh gosh. And all clear? Let's go, let's go. All right, let's go, let's go. And yeah, let's see what's inside. Dogger's Reach. <clears throat> Oh, wow. I remember the old stories. How the Breaker of Worlds came down from on high and cleft the earth with a single blow. Oh, wow. Ralga's Reach. A holy place and a fitting home for the Resistance. For the brave and the true, the loyal sons and daughters of Alamigo. They were waiting for us there. Men and women whose souls still cried out for what was lost. For what could be ours again. Uh, we've been spotted. <laughs> well, me that makes total sense. Oh! Yeah, the welcoming committee is here. Conrad, Mefred, and uh, Monago. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Let me just... Give me a second. I'm just upping the display on mine. Wait. I know you. you you were the guy um you were the you're the one that i helped out yeah oh 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 so he was the false griffin that i saw earlier right he was a false griffin that i saw earlier because he mentioned about um Helping a friend of theirs in trouble, and that was the one that was... that I helped out. Yeah, that was the guy, that was the guy. That was the guy. Oh, Crap. <laughs> uh, now I remember. Yeah, now I remember, now I remember. Can I talk to you? Oh, so you really came. I thought I'd never see you here, but I'm glad. I'm glad. Oh, I'm glad to see you too. Does that mean that the other 
the other gentleman, the other guys that he was with, uh, back in the Gradanian area, are they with him too then? He's not the false griffin though. He's one of the other ones. Oh, okay, okay. So that part I got wrong. Okay. But yeah, I remembered him. And there's Minago, because we helped her. Glad to see you again, and Crowley and Shola, without whose help I might not be standing here today. At least, not so soon. And hello, Adam! Welcome, welcome! Good to have you here! You'll forgive us our precautions, but we couldn't be sure who had crossed the barrier. We see you now for who you are, though. The Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I'm liking all the XP I'm getting out of this, though. It's going to help my levels. The promise of a new beginning. Now, I know you would not have come all this way unless you had something important to discuss. And I'm eager to hear what it is you have to say. But let's not do this on our doorstep, eh? Come with me. Oh, is there an right here? Is there an eighth right here? Where's the map? Oh! Ah! Oh, okay. So you're getting ready to- you're just waiting for Dawn Trail. Did they actually- Siri, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> um... <laughs> uh, so, did they ever release- uh, put out a release date for Dawn Trail yet? I don't think they have. Well, I haven't heard anything. I know that uh, a number of my friends are waiting for Dawn Trail to come out, but I don't think that they've indicated a date yet. If I heard, if they had, I'm sure it'd be all over the net. But I don't think they have yet. So first things first, before I go speak to Conrad and team, let me... Okay, no date yet. Okay. Um, I think what I'll do first is tune to an Aetherite if it allows me to. Okay, good. So that way, it's easy for me to get back here. And now I can find out where everybody is. They said summer. Well, the thing is, so... It... Summer could be not just... Like, Jul uh, June, July, and August. It could be a little bit more than that, if I recall correctly. I could be wrong, though. I know some people, they're hoping that it's not going to be certain times in the summer because then that way, uh, let's say if they're out on vacation or not home, they'll be able to play and not get left behind or anything. Oh! Uh, okay, I can read, map read maps well. Can I talk to them from the way here? Yeah. When we first met back in the Shroud, I took you for some just another adventure. By Ralgar, I still can't believe how far you've come. One thing with Essie, though, they release when they say nothing ever claims to be delayed. Hmm. Well, if they haven't given a date out yet, just they just need the extra time to, whether it be QA, polish, what have you. So I can understand as to why they're being cautious. I'd rather that they just hold back a date rather than trying to be too ambitious. And saying, oh yeah, it has to be this date. And then push it out, then push it out, then push it out, then push it out. And then that, because when you get to that point, people just start getting really frustrated. And losing faith in the company. Oh, and Walker was really delayed really late? Really? Oh... So I guess they're trying to, <clears throat> they fear like that sort of si situation again. So they're just holding back a date, I just want. Ah, uh, the expansion is absolutely done. Their team does a really good job, at least when they say it will release. Okay. Yeah, I can understand why a lot of people, late, 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 mean shortly delayed. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'd be curious to try 
the benchmark myself. But then at the same time, I don't want to because I fear that I'm going to be spoiling myself. <laughs> and Walker is a special case. Okay. I guess the reason why I just mentioned that as to how things do, you're being too... Um, what's the term I'm looking for? You're being too optimistic about a date and then having to push out, push out, push out. Because from a project standpoint or like a management standpoint, you do want to make sure that you are trying to be realistic, not optimistic. And the more that you push things out, the less faith that or the less confidence that your clients, or in this case, the fans, would have in SE as a whole. Benchmarks tend to only spoil some locations and the appearance of some bosses, no, nothing plot-wise. Okay, well, the other reason why I was thinking about getting the benchmark too is because that would be a good indicator of how well the game would run on my system. And if I need to make any adjustments, and I know they're talking about doing um, what was it? Uh, graphic changes? So it just makes me wonder as to how well uh, it would run on the machine that I use. I uh, I don't know as to how much more upgrading I can really do on this machine that I've got right now. So it's just, we'll see as to how it goes. But it'd probably be a good idea just to see. Job also in the Endwalker were immense and don't want people to be happy with it. So there was a little... ETR with us. Oh, okay. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah, again, I guess we're all going to have to wait for the benchmark whenever they decide to release it. Hopefully soon. So yeah, like uh, you had mentioned, uh, Mumberry, that you can create your cat mama. And yeah, just make adjustments. Because I think they also mentioned that uh, when the game comes out, People are going to get a Fantasia or something, like something to recreate the char their characters. Or that's what I heard. I don't know the specifics about it, though. Allow Boys? me to welcome you once okay. more to Raga's Reach, our humble headquarters. Oh, you've got a nice, a nice voice. Very soothing. My name is Conrad Kemp, and okay. I have the dubious honor of overseeing operations here. Yeah, well... Yeah. Well, I got my, syst I got my system that I'm using right now, uh... Earlier, like, no, late last year. So I'm hoping to be okay. Uh... As for the whole pandemic pushing things out, totally understand that. I remember working with a bunch of projects during the time of the pandemic, and oh yeah, things got pushed out all over the place. Ugh, it wasn't fun. It's also true. Which, yeah. It is a pleasure to meet you, Master Kemp. I am Alfino Leveilleur of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, as are my comrades. Before I speak of our purpose here, pray allow me to thank you for sheltering Ida, forgive me, Lise, and Papalimo at great risk to yourselves. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for that. Now, now, there's no need for that. They risked their necks for us enough times. It was the least we could do. I, I wanted to, um... I mean, about the mask and... Ah, oh, don't fret over that. You're not the first person to take up arms against the Empire under a false name. We'd do the same if we had any sense. My condolences for your loss, child. Yeah, all is good in the world for now, yep. And I pray that it will continue to be that way. <laughs> Palimo laid down his life to save us. To give us a chance to make a better future for ourselves. Mm -hmm. There will never be a better time to drive the Garleans from our lands. 
But we have to take the lead on this. We can't leave it to fanatics like Ilbert. Oh, Ilbert was a piece of work. He was a freaking piece of work. More than a few of our people were taken in by his promises. Followed him all the way to the wall. Good men and women who never came back. Yeah, followed them to the he followed them to the wall. And they ended up having them all freaking slaughtered. When Monago told us what had happened, mm -hmm. how the bastard had made sacrifices of them mm -hmm. for his twisted ritual, by Rolger it filled me with an unholy fury. But what's done is done. Best we can do now is see that it wasn't all in vain. Agreed. That was heart wrenching just to see all those people dying just just for what Ober was planning to do. It was really it hurt. <laughs> sloppy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was very sloppy. Sloppy. That is why we are here today, sir. To see that some good comes of this tragedy. Mm hmm On behalf of the Aeorsian Alliance, we do hereby extend a formal offer of military assistance to the Alamegan resistance. Do you now? Well, go on then. I'm sure there's more to it than that. Mm-hmm. So that's the way of it, eh? Yeah, that's... Yes. Yeah. hoping to avoid a direct confrontation with the superior forces of the Empire, wishes to engage them by proxy with our vastly inferior ones. Yeah, but the whole thing about the sloppy, I had heard about it, but I didn't know the full context uh, beforehand, and then just trying to go through that fight and trying not to laugh too much because the whole because it was just all coming back in regards to the meme was a bit of a challenge <laughs> to say the least my comrades and i must confer on your proposal a moment if you please of course master camp take all the time you require yeah in regards to it being like a meme there was that one and then uh what was the other one Sickness must be purged, that I remember for heaven's word. So between the two of them, it was just a lot of uh, interesting times. <laughs> oh jeez, did you? Did you even marry? Oh no. I hope I hope they were uh, I hope they were understanding. I'm six sixty in every job except repair and blue, not sloppy. <laughs> oh. I have it for the bold. So, it would seem we find ourselves with a surfeit of free time. Ah, forgive me. You are free to look around Rogger's Reach. In fact, I would encourage you to do so. It'd give you a better grasp of our current circumstances. Thank you, Master Kemp. I believe we will do just that. Let us make the most of this opportunity and assess the resistance capabilities. Okay, I need to stop for a second because whenever I'm looking, this is really dumb and I apologize in advance, but when I'm looking at the back of Alphano's coat, this white circle thing, it reminds me of a dinner plate and I don't know why. It feels like, why the hell are you carrying a dinner plate on your back? I I'm sorry, I'm just odd. <laughs> Let us make the most of this opportunity and assess the res resistance's capabilities. <laughs> oh, sorry, Adam. Sorry that uh, it's in your head the rest of the day. I apologize. Please forgive us. Mm 
Well, I already know this place inside out. I can show you around if you'd like, Elise. Sure. That'd be helpful. Great. Let's get started. So, where are we gonna go? I did a thing. Okay. Uh, can I bring this map? Oh, I can. Oh! Wait, there's... Oh! Ether... Ether crystals. Can I... <laughs> Sloppy Jose. Actually, that's something I haven't had in a very long time. Sloppy Joe's. I think I may plan that for maybe a meal idea for the week. So where are the rest of these? There's more, right? Oh, there's one on the other side. Okay, any others I need to be aware of? Okay, I just got that one. And then I got that. And then... Wait, I saw... There's the other one. Okay. I'll bet you think the Resistance is mostly made up of Alamegan Highlanders like me, but the truth is that we don't even account for half. Wait, you're a Highlander? Okay. Uh, we've got Hell's Guard from all the way over by the spine in here, and plenty of Seekers of the Sun like Nago. There's even some Beastmen. Well, Beast women, I suppose. Like that one over there. She's an... an Manta. They've been with us for a while now. Well, one of the smaller factions has. The rest won't have anything to do with us. We're no different from the Garleans to them. They just keep to themselves, spending all their time crafting. And Nanta make the most amazing jewelry, by the way. They use magics to twist metals and gold crystal into shapes you wouldn't believe. It's a pity people hardly ever get to see their work. But most don't even know they exist. That's enough about them, anyway. Let's take a closer look at the statue of Ralgar, shall we? Okay. Oh. Uh, oh, the statue's over there, right? But there's a bridge? Yeah. Uh. Bridge is over here. Yeah. And Starfall. Oh, that's a pretty name, actually. Oh, that's the symbol. That's a symbol, that's a symbol. I wish it was daytime, they could see a little better. Pretty awe-inspiring, isn't it? The breaker of worlds who guided our ancestors to these lands all those centuries ago. Ida used to tell me the story on stormy nights. She wanted me to understand, to remember. At the end of the fifth astral era, when the waters rose higher and higher, people all across Eorzea beseeched the heavens for a sign, and lo, a burning star appeared in the eastern sky and led the way to these mountains of Gir Abania. Stormblood was the best ex uh, experience as far as content, but the Endwalker story had me in tears at the end. Anyone else? Uh, they who were saved by his grace pledged to honor and revere him, to devote themselves to great works without and within. A storm of blood approaches fast, hells open, heavens weep. For no one soul doth lie beyond the measure of his reach. The last part was inscribed on this stone by a monk of the uh, Fist of Valgar. Ida explained it to me. A day will come bringing strife and sorrow that none may escape. Waste not these precious hours, but in quiet preparation make strong the body and mind. Huh. I don't know if that storm of blood is finally upon us, but if it is, 
I have to believe that everything we've been through, everything that has led us to this point, will see us through in the end. Shawbringers could have been a standalone game. I so enjoy that. Oh, it's that good. That's the one after this one, right? Ah, sorry. That was all a bit melodramatic, wasn't it? Let's keep moving, shall we? Off to the infirmary. Oh, there's nothing I can really in interact with. That's pretty, though. Ooh. And the infirmary is this way. Indeed is next. I hear Dawn Trail is going to bring some Final Fantasy XI vibes and I'm here for- Oh! Oh gosh. Really? Yay! I played Final Fantasy XI for so long. <laughs> oh gosh, so many memories of that game. So many good memories of that game. Oh, you have attuned yourself to all the Ethernet shards in Rogers Reach. The Fringes Gate is now accessible as an Ethernet destination. Oh, cool. Huh? Oh. 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 Uh. Oh, these guys are the Ananta? Uh, East tribe? Yeah, they're sneak ladies. Okay. Uh, infirmary. Oh, this is where Yashul and Crowl are hanging out. Remember the Valkram Dunes people? People who know. Yeah. That and Crawler's Nest? And the whole train to zone. And with Crawler's Nest, there was the balls room. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, the dunes is just. Ah. Uh, it was a place. It was a place. No matter how carefully we planned our operations, casualties were inevitable. It's a sad thing to think about, but it's also important to remember the cost, as Conrad would say. We should go. I'll show you the Aetherite Plaza next. There's so many memories that I have of Eleven. Uh, mainly with a lot of old friends and just remembering. Uh, the other thing I remember was Permivians doing those and the Archangel fights. Those were like one of the bigger memories I had of that game. All these young people, I was sure. <laughs> oh, I feel so old now. <laughs> oh, lots, lots of good memories of friends. Lots of good memories of friends in that game. When you've seen one eighth right, you've seen them all, right? Not quite. This one's an older design, dating back decades to when the Fist of Ragnar was still here. It may look a little different, but it works just as well as any other. I'll show you where the, the Solters are next, but don't forget to attune to the Aetherite right before we go. We, we'll have to get you into Eureka for more Final Fantasy XI references sometime after you finish- Oh, gosh. Sounds like fun. <laughs> I enjoyed Dynamis and Sky. Oh yeah, I enjoyed those too. Um, I didn't do that much of Sky. I remember doing a fair bit of Dynamis. I was in a Dynamis Link shell a long time ago. Um, but yeah, I did a little bit of Sky, but not a heck of a lot. I left the game around. Oh, shoot. During some part of Wings of the Goddess. I never got to finish that one. Arms, armor, potions, you name it, these folks got it. The resistance would be in a bad way without the brave merchants to keep it provisioned. 
betting Kieran with 50 people just get a, a so just to get it. Oh, yeah. Uh, the other thing, too, was, um, oh, um, for summoners, there was a, uh, a special, I think it was a top or was it a, yeah, that you had to fight, um, a special weapon in, oh gosh, um, I'm forgetting the name of the place, but we used to call the weapon Bob. I don't know why. And we were trying to hunt for it among with so many other people. If you're short on anything or you just need something repaired, these are the people to speak to. I kind of quit after Church of Vatican, but damn, what a game. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'll come out with Alizair here. Why don't we see how they're getting on? Yeah, basically with, um... With the game, I left around Wings of the Goddess. I didn't get, I started it, but I didn't get to finish it. And it was due to, like, a lot of stuff was changing in my life around that time. And I didn't think I'd be able to play anymore. So that was the last time I was in there. And yeah, missed it a fair bit, missed a lot of people, but thankfully still been able to connect with a lot of the folks that I was with in my group when I played 11. I still talk to them to, me th to this day, which is pretty amazing. The mat fights, summoner fights, yeah. Oh, the summoner fights. I remember trying to do the, so the summoner fight, like solo ones. Oh, I died so many, so many times of those. Uh, ooh. Actually, what's that compared to my current one? Uh, eh, nothing major. Come to take the measure of our friendly neighborhood merchants. If they're a whole lot, that much is plain. If the Imperials found out they were peddling their wares to the Resistance, they would be lucky to escape their lives. It is a gamble, I, but I admire their courage. But their motives could hardly be said, said to be altruistic. Ah, there, here you are. I've been looking all over for you. We finished discussing your proposal and we're ready to receive you all back in the tent. I've sent someone to fetch your stolen and Kryles, so if you'd like to follow me... Oh, the map fights, yes. I remember the map fights being pretty brutal. I remember... I think I heard that the... Red Mage map fight was probably the hardest one. <laughs> I remember playing with uh, some folks on... Um, Japanese folks as well, and trying to use the auto-translate function to try to communicate. We did fairly well, and they were some really kind folks. We managed to uh, communicate well enough to get things done. But yeah, it was just very interesting because, yeah, compared to the way that 14 is, where you have Europeans, European data center, Japanese data center, and North American sort of data center in Oceana. Um, with 11, you had pretty much everybody on the same server. So you'd see Japanese people, you'd see European, you'd see North American. Now, obviously, people play at different times, but it's just amazing to see as to how people came together. In some cases, not um, just to get things done or just party. And with that game, you really, really had to work together with people because you really couldn't do a lot of stuff on your own compared to what you can in this game. This one, you really had to rely on other people in order to advance. And the other thing, too, compared to this game, you could de-level. <laughs> so oftentimes, you like when you're going to do things with your friends, You'd want to make sure that you had enough buffer XP so that if you die, you didn't lose your level. And even 
if you if he did have some buffer, you'd always want to make sure that you had gear this just before you below your current level two. So just in case if you did die, you'd still be able to equip something rather than you lose your level and realize this. Oh crap, I can't wear my gear anymore. That would be the most embarrassing thing ever. Yeah. Yeah, called it cushion. I just, I, I remember just people calling it buffer. Thank you all for waiting. We have reached a consensus. Oh, are we going to team up? So what's the verdict? I, Conrad Kemp, do hereby accept the Aorsian Alliance's proposal. You must understand, however, that our cooperation comes with certain caveats. Like? Like Those what? caveats being... Uh-huh. I take no joy in this, just so you know. Were it within my power, I'd offer you more assistance. But the resistance is far more fragmented than you realize. The men and women in my care belong to but one of many factions. How many factions are we talking about here, though? Simply put, I can only speak for the people of Rolga's Reach. Oh, wow, really? Congratulations, Adam. Now. I have every intention of appealing to the others, and I expect many will agree, but it will take time, and I cannot guarantee universal support. Uh, well, it's a step in the right direction. Understood. I shall see that the Alliance is under no misapprehensions as to your position. Mm -hmm. Much obliged, but that's not the whole of it. As you can imagine, the loss of those who cast their lot with the Griffin left us short on numbers. Some of our most trusted veterans died at the wall, and we've had to fill their posts with the young and inexperienced. Frankly, everything's in a right bloody mess. Oh, we'd be more than happy to help you get back on your feet. If we're going to work together, we'll be doing ourselves a favor. Well, there's no shortage of work to be done, that's for sure. We're in dire need of new blood, too. So there's a lot of work to be done. Well, I can jump in pretty much anywhere. <laughs> Ishtola and I could lend a hand in the infirmary. From what I saw, they could do with a few more healers. Very well. I, for my part, shall return to the Rising Stones. I'm certain there are others among the Scions who would welcome the opportunity to fight for Alamegan liberation. Well, what do I need to do um, then? Is there anything else we can do to help? Yeah, that's my question. What do you want us to? What do you want I me have to do? Something else in mind for you, Lot. Monago and Mefred will tell you more. Oh, okay. Understood. We won't let you down. Remember NM hunting with the Beastmaster sub for what's going to happen? Oh! Yeah. I remember that. Oops, sorry. Uh, I'm going to go with that. Your Aether Compass may now be used to locate Aether Currents in new regions. The Aether Compass can be found under collection in the duties section of the main menu. Oh, don't worry, I've already been finding Aether Currents. Oh, gosh. Oh, um... Do I just need to choose one of these, or do I do both? Film your face forgotten. No, I didn't forget. I didn't forget you. I did not forget you. 
At the risk of repeating myself, it's still hard for me to believe that we met here again of all places. Though, I reckon you probably don't remember me after all this time, eh? Oh no, I remember you. I remember you. Jaggedy-eared back. Oh. Leaping Lizzie, Jaggedy-eared Jack. The Valkyrie Emperor. Those are the three ones I remember. I'm impressed. Given everything you went to on to accomplish, you'd be forgiven for getting about all your time in Quarry Mill. Suffice to say, we didn't forget about you either. Nor the lives you saved. Miss Q split. You'll have to complete both quest lines. Continue. Oh, thank you, Hidden. Thank you. Um, what I'll do is I'll try to do this one first and then do the other one afterwards. That way I don't stretch myself a little bit too far. As for me, I went to little Almigo while Galian was recovering. Gundabold was my former commander and an old friend, and I had a lot on my mind. In the end, I decided to expand our unit. I told the men to live their lives as they saw fit. Some chose to remain in Little Alamigo, while others went to Ulda for work. But, as you can see, I chose to came back to Garabania and join Conrad and the others. I've kept busy since then, carrying people and provisions across the border and back. It's not been easy, but it's been fulfilling. Medigu the Punisher. Oh, I remember hearing about that one. Today, however, we'll be heading east into the peaks. Conrad thinks we might have luck finding new recruits in the village of Alagana. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Alagana? If you're going there, you're taking me too. Uh, that's right. You're from Alagana, aren't you, Lise? By all means, we'd welcome the company. There'll be more to it than just asking around, but we can talk about it on the way. Make your preparations and meet me by the tunnel to the peaks. <laughs> okay, I know there's that other one that I have to do because Hiten, you just told me that, but I'm gonna leave that one there for now and just focus in. Oh, mid Midi, I wish I had some turkey or something else that you could, you know, fire up and grill for me. Now, I knew many uh, samurais back in the day for uh, Eleven. And going after Midegi was one big thing. Venadio was the best round. <laughs> oh, Venadio was, again, it's something that was very precious. And I have a lot of good memories there. I just couldn't go back to probably playing again today. I can't really handle two MMOs at the moment. <laughs> I got enough on my plate. This tunnel will take us all the way to the peaks. We're on a mission for Conrad to Alagana. Clear the bar uh, barricade, if you would. Hi, sir. Shouldn't take more than a moment. There's more villages there than out here, but also more Imperials keeping a close eye on things. We'll need to tread carefully. Okay, so let's go through. New area? Yes, new area. Yay! Very brown and beige. A little bit of purple, but mainly brown and beige. I remember and the peaks of an upside down pyramid? Silent watchman that would stand long after we were gone. We came seeking allies to join us in the fight against the Empire. People who had had enough. People what who had suffered every that? possible indignity. Who had been treated like animals. Day after day after day. Lots of reds and beige. Oh, the glamours.
Just like the sea of clouds in these first two zones, you can't reach holes one yet. Oh, so it's split up again? <clears throat> and you come back here for all the ether currents. Okay. So it's like in the sea of clouds where you're able to do, like you have some of the MSQ going through certain areas and then eventually you, re you revisit to the other area. Is that what you mean? Did you mention the sea of clouds? That was the first thing that came to mind. This wasn't the work of the Garleans, but the old trick. His army massacred the monks here decades ago. By the time the Black Wolf arrived with his legion, it was already ruined. We have a glamour in place here too, as you may have noticed. So far as the Imperials are concerned, this is not more than a testament to the savage impulses of a lesser race. Remember though, once we leave these ruins, we'll have no glamours to conceal us. The village is to the east. Watch for patrols as we move. Yeah, this is standard for all expansions going forward. Two half zones at the start. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll work to remember that. And anything around here that I can get. 620... Whoa, that's a fair ways to go. So, not quite straight away. Oh yay, there's some other colors here beyond brown. I was worried because initially when they're um, giving those wide shots the area, all you saw was a lot of rocks, which is understandable considering... Oh, shoot. Considering the area and all, but it was just us hoping they would have had other colors too. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, there we go. One birdie done. One birdie done. But yeah, considering as to what the wide shots they were giving earlier, I was thinking, oh gosh, this is all just brown and red and nothing else to speak of. But thankfully, We've got other colors too. And we've got butterflies that can kill. Angry butterflies. Not so nice butterflies at all. Okay, uh, oh. I almost overshot them a little bit. Oops. Sorry, my friend. Nary and Imperial in sight. That's a mercy. Alagana's due east, past that bridge. Follow me. It's not much further. Well, you say it's not much further, but I do want to try to get that other Aether Current spot if I can. So it's south, 371 yams. Hopefully they'll... For what the heck is that? That looks very angry. I don't think I want to get it, and I'm worried it's going to breathe fire or something considering it's red. I don't know if it does, but again, I'm worried. 213 to the south. So it's around here somewhere. Oh. Um. I think it's past there. The weird upside down pyramid thingamabobber. But I don't necessarily want to be going across all those guys right now. So what I will do is I will just follow where I'm supposed to- oh, crap. I met with this thing and I hope it doesn't breathe fire. Oh shoot, fire break. Oh, it does breathe fire. <laughs> great. Oh, great. I was right. It was red, so I figured it probably did fire. Yes, it does. Ah. Uh. It's sad when you can figure out as to, oh, this thing's probably uh, this particular element because it is such and such a color. And you find out that you're right. Oh, shoot. I joined a bait. I didn't mean to. Uh, where? Oh. Um. 
go around? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Go around? Uh, maybe? Uh... Oh. Oh, those are big, huge crickets. Or they look to me? Oh, please let me go away without being spotted. Yay! Did it. Oh, fudge. <laughs> There's more! Oh wait, there's more! There's more! I don't want to be spotted by these things! Oh, phew, I made it. <laughs> okay. Uh... So this is the town they're telling me about? Alagana? You can rest easy. We made it. This is Alagana. Okay, so it was the place that we need to go to. It feels strange coming home like this. I always imagined it would be... Oh, sorry. That has nothing to do with while we're here. We need recruits. Aye, we do, but as I said at the Reach, it is a little bit more complicated than just asking for volunteers these days. As you know, we're shorthanded because many of our people were taken in by the Griffin's promises and went over, uh, went to the Wall, never to return. It wasn't just them, though. Folks from all over, including some of my former comrades, answered his call to arms. As for why we came to this particular, villi uh, particular village, it's rumored that Alagana lost a few youths as well. If there's truth to that, then there could be others sympathetic to the cause. Then again, after the Griffin's betrayal, they may be suspicious of outsiders claiming allegiance to the Resistance. And rightfully so. So, with all that in mind, how are we supposed to convince them to join? I mean, I knew it wouldn't be as simple as giving a speech in the village square. Not if you didn't want to be... want the place to be burned to the ground, no. You might as well piss in the Viceroy's eye. We'll need to be a good deal more circumspect than that. You'll never know when an Imperial spy is listening. We must speak to the Elder first. I know for a fact he can be trusted. We'll listen to what he has to say and decide what to do after. Sounds like a plan. Let's hope there are some brave men and women still here willing to fight. No, we can only help. So... The Imperials have spies everywhere, I guess, too? Oh, a new... It, oh, okay. The practical daughter. Ooh! More gear. Regan Frid, the village elder, is over by the shore. No time like the present. Let's have a word. Yay! But first, but first, Aetherite, you must attune, otherwise I'm going to forget. And then that would be problematic. There we go. All set. Don't know you, traveler. You a merchant? You'll not find much custom here. Greetings and well met, Elder. And Sasir's apologies, I did not send word ahead of our arrival. Too long have I been away from Alagana, and I would know of your recent troubles. Ah, uh, your comrades of Mephrid. I see, I see. Speak on, though I suspect I know your purpose. The griffin came with many men and left with many more. Such is the rumor. 
Is it true? You lit a fire in the hearts and dangled the dream before their tired eyes. And now you come to steal away what few remain. The Griffin was a traitor and a madman, and we have no part in his schemes. We have made an agreement with the Alliance. This time, it will be different. This time, this time, hold comfort to the dead of the ones they left behind. How much more must we give before you've had your fill? But, but surely you hate the Empire as much as we do? They took our lands, our traditions, even our god. And they demand a fifth of what little we've got left. I, I hate the bastards. With every fiber of my being. But hate's not enough, Mefred. I can't. We can't keep doing this. I'll not tell anyone you came, but you need to go. Now, leave us be and never return. You've got no right to speak to us like that. I've got a quarry that was producing barely enough to keep us fed. And that was before half our young men and women went off to die for your bloody cause. So, yes, I have every right to tell you to leave my village. No, you don't. Because it's my village, too. My home. What in the hells are you talking on about? Wait. I know those eyes. You're one of Curtis's girls. Oh, Curtis is the name of her dad, right? I'm going to assume so. Lise. Lise Hexed. And I'm here... I'm here to take back my homeland. I Ralk her. The last time I saw you, you were... I didn't even know if you were still alive, and never I thought you would come. I almost didn't, and my sister never will. Lots of others won't either, and that's why we've got to carry on the fight. You even sound like him. As you say, I've got no right to tell you to leave. Alagana is much your home as it is mine. But I say to you again, we can give no more. Yes, I heard you the first time. Let's go. <laughs> I guess I can sort of understand both groups. Because, well, obviously, they want to free themselves from the Empire, yet at the same time, these people here, they've lost their sons or daughters, various children and probably adults too, to Hilbert's scheme, which still has me ticked off. And then whatever, like, if the, I don't know what the Empire is doing either. Ugh. That could have been handled better, but what's done is done. At least we've been granted permission to stay. I was hoping Ra Ragenfrid might help us to recruit some of his people. But that clearly isn't going to happen. If we're convinced any of them to join, we'll first need to regain their trust. It's risky and it's hardly subtle, but I say we approach the villagers directly. See what problems they've got and if we can do anything to help. Makes sense to me. Let's split up and ask around. All right, and let's get some gear. <laughs> oh, more things that split up. It's not just the original MSQ that split up. It's over here. It's split up too. Angry curl. Death by a thousand rocks. Oh boy. New face in Algana. <sighs> What would you ask of me, then? How can I help you, sir? A stranger and a general soul besides? Bollocks. They're not more suspicious than a good Samaritan. 
On the other hand, if you were an Imperial agent, I'd expect you to go about your business with more discretion. Bugger me, you really are here to help, aren't you? Are you? Um, no. I am currently wearing the gear that I got when I switched to Dancer, so I do have to upgrade my gear. I have to get more poetics, though. Very well. I'll take you up on your offer, stranger. My little brother is working for rocks. Working the rocks by Grim and Enid. He's got something for me. Can you go and get it? If so, you won't see any upgrades until a good deal later in MSQ round level 64. Okay. Well, I've been planning to upgrade my gear to the shower gear anyway. So, well, the thing is, though, with some of this gear, I could potentially sell it. If I find it's not really worthwhile. So, we'll see if somebody else could use it. Right then, Frank Curl is his name. Ask for him. Ask him for the leftovers. He ought to understand. Yeah, because right now I'm just wearing a lot of gear. Like, I managed to get the augmented shower by boots, but I still need to get the rest. I need to upgrade some of my other stuff, too. Um. Oh. Where am I going? How far do I need to go to the rocks place? Uh. Oh my, and this map is huge. This map is very big. Well, I guess sort of like the Sea of Clouds. That one was really large too. I miss flying! But eventually I'll be able to fly. It's just going to take me a while to get all the Aether Grains, of course. So let's get to where I need to go for this guy. And then what I'll do is I will go back and do the other quest. Oh, I have to... Oh, oh shoot. Oh. Sorry, Mr. Cricket. I don't mean to kill you. I hope your name is not Jimny. And that you're not Pinocchio. But you don't know a Pinocchio. I don't know a Pinocchio either. Stormblood was the expansion of the drop PS3 supports there. Oh, okay. Good to know. And currently the game supports, like from PlayStation perspective, uh, PlayStation 4 and 5 still, right? Or with Dawn Trail, are they going to keep it? With PlayStation 4, they're going to say no more PlayStation 4, they're just going to work with PlayStation 5. Because I'm thinking that probably in order to do some of the other things that they want to do with the new expansion, some things would have to be dropped or concessions would have to be made. Or some big decisions would have to be made. And that, I guess, would be one of them. What the heck is that thing? What are you? Oh! You're a big monster. You're not removed. Okay, that's good. Oh, gosh, that's a big, huge... That's a... That's a hunt mob. Ooh. I am going to stay away from that hunt mob. I don't want him to slice me to pieces. Because that would be bad. That would be a very quick end to our journey today. That would be a very quick end. Oh shoot. <laughs> I walked right by one of them. Oops. That was bad. Uh... Uh, let's see. Oh, shoot. I think I was running there for a second. That did not seem right. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So where is this angry curl? I guess he's over here somewhere. Frightened Curl. That was it. Oh, this probably is a 
There's probably a fishing spot too. Hmm? You're here for the leftovers, are you? Not like my brother to send someone in instead, but so be it. It's all in the sack over yonder. They're bleeding heavy, mind, so be careful when you pick them up. Hmm. Where? Oh, there. Unconsciously heavy sacks. Oh, why not? Why not? Okay, can I... Can I teleport over? Can I teleport over? Uh... Alagana. Because that just makes it easier to get back. But yeah, I wasn't expecting to run into a uh, hunt mob there. I'm glad that I didn't try to attack it, because <laughs> I would have been dead. Oh, too far away. Ah, the new face. Do you have my leftovers? Yes, I do. You load ten and six tons. What do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. That rhymes. <laughs> and it's a song, no doubt. Huh? Well, I'll be. You actually went and brought the whole lot. Much obliged. Much obliged. And salt, pepper, pepper for making fire sand. In case you're curious, what's it all for? Rocks by the lakes got good, got good deposits. It ain't hard for my brother to pass for any other plotting quarrymen, and the, while sweeping bits and pieces off to the side to bundle up and sell to the soldiers, what trade with the resistance? It's a living, and a way of fighting back besides. Our way of uh, split, uh, spitting in the Garlean's eye for putting our father in imperial uniform and shipping him off to some faraway province 15 years ago. Don't know if he's dead or alive even. Although, uh, though, if he were alive, he'd not be long for this world if we were caught fighting for the resistance. So, this is the best we can do. That's the long and short of it. We do what we can. Though we know it's not enough. I think you'll find that most folks here ain't much different. Everybody's got a reason, but in the end, the result is the same. I suppose I just... I just wanted you to know that's all. That I... That we know why you're here. And even why... Even if we can't join you, we... We wish we could. Oh, geez, these are a lot of depressing stories. You must keep your distance if you know what's good for you. Say your piece and move on. <laughs> Looking for folks down on their luck? Congratulations, you found one! As you can see, my leg ain't what it used to be. Some days I can hardly walk for the pain. Mornings are the worst, especially after cold nights. Hard labors right out. Too much pain and trouble, trouble for others. There's a tea which helps with it, though I need to grind a chapuli horn and a hornbill talon for the blend. Monster killing. I can do that. Huh? So you'll go get some for me? Just like that. You needn't trouble yourself, so. Oh, don't worry. I'll trouble myself for it anyway. I get to kill things. It's better than trying to sneak around. Uh... Oh, I can go this way for one, and then I have to go another direction for the other piece. Chipuli, those were these things, right? I think... Yeah, it is. Yay! I can kill you guys! I know how to do that. And hopefully they drop rather quickly. <laughs> but we will see. Okay, got that. So next I have to find, was it a hornbill? Yeah, a uh, gear Abanian hornbill for one of its talents. Uh, can I go this way? No. Go this way, though. Whee! It's 
So here's a question for you guys who are watching the stream. If there's anything that you think that that you want to let me know about or things that are points of interest or let's say quests that are really good or helpful that may not necessarily be on the MSQ, like have really cool rewards or a really good story, just feel free to say it so in that way I can try to keep an eye on it and try to remember it for when I am going through the storyline. If that makes any sense. Because I'm always game for a good story and sometimes for rewards. Depending on what it is, I may be keen on it. I know about Yuri. Uh, I know that uh, somebody had already mentioned Re uh, Eureka. I think it was you, Hitten, um, which I would like to try to do at some point. I obviously, I think I need to. That's like end game stuff, isn't it, for this expansion? So I guess I would have to complete Stormblood first. For that one. Been a gone you've been gone a gone a while. What brings you back to Helagana? I brought your stuff. You can won't be available until you finish Okay. Okay, so I'll have to remember that for when I finish Stormblood, which will take me a while. Mix fine medicine and tea when ground into fine powder and mix with other ingredients. And same with this one too, so here you go. Oh, I never meant to I mean, in times like these, you never think people will actually... This country's hard on people, but it's not just that. The Imperials, they... They've made it known I'm not to be helped. A dead man's good for one lesson, you know. Whereas a live one... You're with the Resistance, right? I suppose there's no reason not to tell you, then. My father, God's rest his soul, was deathly sick at the time. And so I'd gone into the forest, spear in hand, to gather herbs. And then I had the good fortune to run into an Imperial patrol. My weapon marked me as a rebel, or so they said. Not that I made it in a difference if I fought back. I knew what the lot of them were about to do the moment the Centurion lays eyes on me. It didn't matter in the end, of course. Some people just like to hurt others. And by the time I limped back to the hut, it was too late for my father. Too late for me, too, I, and many, other, uh, and many others, I imagine. Help them, too, if you like. They'll be grateful and say thank you. But beyond that, I wouldn't hope for much. They generally one of the Aether Current quests in each zone will have an extended stop. Let me go beyond the first quest. Okay. Okay. You'll know because there'll be a picture along with the quest and there's like something for this. Oh. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Mefred! We did the things. We did the things. And a life more ordinary. Ah, oh. oh, there you are, Elise. I've been trying to help the villagers deal with this food shortage of theirs. Recently, the Imperials have been swooping into villages unannounced and they seizing supplies in order to prevent the people from stockpiling in case they might be in league with the Resistance. It's not much, but I've taught them a few tricks to better hide what little they've got left. How's Lise getting on, by the way? You'd think people would be more inclined to trust a local girl. Assuming they remember her, that is. Oh yeah, where is Lise? Oh, she's over here. Cynical youth. Oh. I think she's trying to convince somebody, but she's not having much luck. At least that's my guess. No, no, I didn't mean to. And where were you these past 20 years? Where were you when we were being ground under the Black Wolf's boot? On the other side of this bastard wall, living the high life, I'd wager. Th that's not fair. 
Yeah, that's really not fair to say. <laughs> and who's this? Another one of your freedom-loving friends deigning to help us poor unfortunate souls? Trying to whip us into a frenzy so we'll go and storm a castrum with our pickaxes and shovels? Leave, all of you, before you can bring a cohort down on us all. And you, don't you dare speak like you're one of us. You can't even begin to understand what we've been through. You weren't here, Elise. You weren't here. This is my home, and I love it with all my heart. And if you ha truly have any love for it too, you'll keep us out of your doomed rebellion. Eek. <sighs> he has a point. No matter what I say or do, it's not going to change the fact I left them behind. But this isn't about me or anyone else. It's about Alamigo. Let's go and find Mefred. Yeah, let's go find Mefred indeed. Now I had to find my water bottle. Because my water bottle brings me joy. Especially when my throat is parched. <laughs> oh gosh. Well guys, I think I'll be able to do about another half hour. And then at that point I may need to drop off. I think actually in about half hour that's probably when I'm going to drop things off. Looks like the Elder was the only one unwilling to hear us out. Can't blame them given what's happened at the wall. I thought I might be able to appeal to them as a fellow... I don't know. But if anything, it just made them angrier. I haven't lived through it like they have. I can't claim to know the struggle like they do either, Lise. I ran too, I, but if I hadn't, I never met Elise or the rest of you. I may not have been in here today in a position to make a difference. So I don't regret my choices, nor will I apologize for them. There's more than one way to fight. Hmm. That's a good way of putting it. Hmm? Help! Someone, anyone, we need help! I don't like the sound of that one bit. Come on. What's going on? Rokrata, he... The Tribunum and the Blade Ratman, they... Damn it all. You there, take a deep breath and then tell us what happened. It was all business as usual. The Tribunums do soon and we were taken to the Imperials when the Kirin attacked. They took my brother and our money. Took him where? Ruins to the south of here. It was just an old temple before they came and... Listen, Warkata is the only family I've got. If I lose him, I... The ziggurat? If the rabbin took him there, he's good as dead. We've got to go after them. If there's even a chance her brother is still alive, we have to try. Agreed. And I think that one of my aether currents is there too. So let's see if we can find where we need to go. Oh. You're right, Lise. We've got to help them. If not for the missing man, then for the tributum. The Garleans won't suffer excuses if they're late. Uh. Okay. So I'll go with these instead. Yay! 61! The color of angry Kakirin. <laughs> so we're... Kata has been held somewhere at the Ziggurat to the south, which has been taken over by Hosoka Kirin bandits. That about covers it, then. Be prepared for a fight. It may not be the most challenging foes, but there's sure a lot of them. Okay, so they're like rats and they swarm. Fantastic! Fantastic! Well, let's see if we can save the person and get to the ziggurat and what what is this thing
it's a green floating ball. <laughs> or at least looks like one. My puffball is leaving you alone. Leaving you behind. So you can stare at the wall, I guess. Oh, there's more puffballs. Okay. Myron's Rhett. You're a raptor. <laughs> I always like the name of some of these um, NPCs that they have. Immodest Mouse. Rhett. Front, 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 whatever that means. And more goofy things. Last four. So, where am I going? Here? Somewhere? Uh, wait. Can I go this way? Or do I have to go the other way? No, I can go this way. Yay! Okay. And I'm bringing up my bird. Why? Because my birdie can always use XP. He's a meat eater. Well, usually I say it's she's a meat eater and watch out boys, she'll chew out. Uh, old song. Old song. Old song. Oh, these guys do not look very friendly. They don't look like the Kikirin that's... Uh, that I see just outside, uh, what, whatchamacallit? Um, Morbury dry, dry Docks. I tend to see those more often than not. So, they look much different here. A different type of Kikirin, maybe? Or just the same one? Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, well, let's just pull them one at a time. Because I don't trust myself with doing more than that. If I had better gear, maybe I could, but not really at this moment. So just the uh, if current ones with that have the pictures at the end and of course Eureka after I finish Stormblood. Anything else you guys can think of? Or just those two, that's it. Oh, and I should check as to where the Aether current is and all this. Please, let me go. I'm begging you. I don't want to die. Huh? Oh. All the way up there. Hear that? I think it came from up top of the ziggurat. Who dares come to load to our man flesh? Ours to eat, ours to eat! <sighs> we knew we'd come to this. Kill them quick before they alert the others. Okay, so I have to kill a bunch of them. Yay! Okay, let's deal with these guys quick and hopefully not get any more around here. Okay, this one done. And then... Oh, I don't want to hit, get hit by that. Actually, can I... Uh, yes, I can. Yay! Hey, you're my dance partner. I forgot to do that. So, all these guys are meat eaters. I don't think I've seen different ones yet. This has been this main type of rat. And where's the 55 to the south? Okay, so it's up here somewhere. I think. Uh, okay, not there. So I guess further up. 
Oh, hello, friend. And after this, I'll have to see as to where it is. If it's on this... Oh, shoot. Hi, friend. I did not want to have more than one enemy around me, but... Ah, apparently, I get to have more friends. Oh. Is there another one there? Oh, there's the Aether Current. Oh, okay. So I was close. Another one done. Yay! Up we go. To the very top and see if we can find that NPC. Oh, over there. All right. Can I squeeze by without him noticing? That is... I don't think I'll be able to get past this guy. So may as well just grab him. And then... I can do the rest. And hopefully not hit that Earth Sprite. And how many people do you have guarding you? Oh, three. Great. Oh, blue, blue, purple, and green, and then yellow. Oh. And this is one last guy, and that'll be that. It's a little bit closer than what I really wanted it to be. But you say, friend. There's yellow quest in that area, this area that has you throw smoke bombs at targets. I picked it up and left it completed, so I always have infinite spy smoke bombs. <laughs> oh my gosh, that sounds like fun. Bye, Ralgar. What did I ever do to deserve this? I've gone to bed hungry for months. I'm skin and bones. I'm hardly making snack, made much less a meal. I'll see if I can find that yellow quest that talks about smoke bombs. Oh, you found him. Don't worry, dude. It's, it's safe. It's us. Wait, wait. Are you here to rescue me? Uh-huh. Your sister sent us. It's going to be all right. My sister. Oh, Ralgar, be praised. She's safe. And you, you lot fought your in your uh, fought your way in here just for me. To think there's still good, brave folk in this world. We should go before the Kikirin return in force. Do you still have the tributum? Oh God, it's the tributum. The Imperials will be wondering where I am. I have to go. What? Right now, in your condition? You don't understand. We were given a warning last month for being short. If I don't make it in time, there's no telling what will happen to me and my sister. Okay, it's, it's really serious business. Huh? Why? Why can't we stop them? Mefred says no. Why, Mefred? Why? Ugh, you're frustrating. I'm glad we saved him, but seeing him run off like that, I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, something important. The Black Wolf's Puffs. Listen, listen Elise, Mefred. I think we need to go after where Kata. Kata, da da. Wait, you better not be thinking of stopping him. You heard what he said. If they don't pay one way or another, they'll pay another way. Uh, I can't read. I know that I do. I, and I don't want to interfere. Oh, ow! Oh, what the flip? 
Uh... Next time, dude. <laughs> uh... There you go. You're you're all safe now. Let's all speak to the NPC together. Listen, Elise, Mefred, I think we need to go after Rukrata. Wait, you better not be thinking of stopping him. You heard what he said. If they don't pay one way, they'll pay another. I know that I do, and I don't want to interfere. I just... I just don't want to see that he makes it there safely. If that's the sum of it, then that's fine. Let's head down and see if we can't pick up his trail. Is that what you really want, Lise? I think you want to help out more. I think you want to help out more. Let's go down. Down, down, down. And... Can I get past you without having to fight you? Yes, I can. Yay! Oh, nope. <laughs> so much idea. And well, it's a good thing I got attacked too then, because, well, there's... Oh, shoot. <laughs> I didn't mean to get there, Sprite. I'm sorry, Earth Sprite. I didn't mean to get you to... All oh, the Earth Sprites are painful. Oh, this one's very rooted in place. You'd think that he's stonewalling me or something. Uh, yeah, that was a bad joke. A very bad joke. Oh, he dropped the sack? Seems like he did. Upon closer inspection, you find nothing of interest. Okay. So I found nothing of interest, but it's a sack. All right. Oh, maybe it's for something else I need to do later. Uh, near the grab. Oh, chocobo feather. That's from his birdie, right? In the dirt, you spy a chocobo feather. Uh-huh. Any luck? Well, I found a chocobo feather. A chocobo feather, is it? Aye, by my reckoning, it came from... Rokrata's bird. In it, which, in which case? There's a collapsed bridge just around the bend. Hug the rocks and stick to the shadows. We'll find him soon enough. Okay. Hug the rocks. Rocks, I'm going to give you this big, huge hug. You're going to really like it. Although I don't think I'm going to like it because it's probably, you're probably very pointy and sharp. And I'd like to have a warm hug, not a pointy hug. But I don't think I can get what I want. Any minute now, I expect he'll come thundering around the bend and... Hear that? Get to cover. Quickly now. What's going to happen? Oh! Rukrata and his bird. Wow, those are some masks are for sure. Imperials? Worse. Skulls. Skulls. Listen, Lise. Whatever happens, stay hidden and do not intervene. Understood? I don't like that comment. Usually when people give you that comment, there's going to be something that's going to make you really, really upset. What? Mm -hmm. You there! Halt! You know you shouldn't be here. Explain yourself. F 
Forgive me, sir. I, I came to deliver the tributum. Mm hmm. Oh, aye. A likely story. Only a fool would dare to come so late. Or, mayhap, a resistance spy. No! No, you've got it all wrong! I, I was waylaid by bandits! I it's not my fault! I said halt! <laughs> is this a joke? You don't seriously expect us to believe this is a fifth? How stupid do you think we are? It is, I swear, on my mother's life. Spare us. You came late, you lied about bandits, and then you tried to cheat the Empire of its due. Oh, jeez. I'm going to find this expansion hard. Think you can kill them all? Including the ones watching from the tower? Even if you did, others would come for him and his family. You'd be condemning them all to a life of hard labor. Assuming they didn't just execute them, that is. And this is the reason why he told us that we shouldn't do anything. <laughs> uh. Oh. Camera angle, did we really need to point it like that? There. Really? Really, game? Really? Uh. Why? You really didn't need it at that angle. Oh, jeez. It's your bloody fault we're stuck out here patrolling this God's forsaken wasteland. It's your fault I have to listen to people go on and on about how Alan Egan's can't be trusted. I've worked and coiled harder than any man. I'm a citizen, God's damn it. And what are you? A stupid, stubborn little dog who'd sooner bite the hand that feeds him and pine for the good old days. That's enough! Oh. Lord Xenos is expecting our report. You person, who are you? And what the... That's a interesting looking tattoo. I like her hair color though. Her hair cell. I bet the poor bastard can't believe his luck. He gets to go home. We should do the same. But it's not right. Uh... Hmm? Oh gosh, did she spot us? Oh jeez. So the skulls. Ah. Uh, we we couldn't have done we could have done something anything just just letting it happen. Oh, Elise, I echo that sentiment totally. I'd heard their commander was keen-eyed, but God, that was a near thing. It tears me up inside to see our own kinsmen doing the bidding of the of the Viceroy. But they made their choice, and if it comes down to it, I'll cut down every last one of them myself. So you have... Alamegans fighting Alamegans? Oh... Oh, good grief.
Homeward bound. Rokrat is alive and the Tribunum's been paid. That's all that matters for now. I for one would rather not wait around to see if the Skulls decide to return. We best get back to Alagana and tell Regenfrid that his man got the job done. Yeah, but he got the job done, but at what price? These... These people really need help. But they're just trying to... Essentially just keeping themselves alive. Oh, this is heart-wrenching. We owe you a debt of gratitude for what you did. Rokrata told me everything. How you fought with the Kakirin and saved his life. For all the good that it did. We saw what happened to him when he met the Skulls. How they beat him half to death. We could have stopped them. I, I reckon you could. Mefred's a warrior, as is your comrade. And you're strong, like your father. That much is plain. But I thank Bragger you did not because it would not have ended with them. For Kata and his sister would have been branded insurgents, if not the whole lot of us. Bones heal, scars fade, but the dead remain dead. We're alive. And that's more than we said for only the gods know how many others. That's enough for you, is it? To put up with whatever they do to you as long as you get to see another day? <clears throat> that's right. Grit your teeth, then you learn to live with the pain. I'll admit I was quick to judge you, Lise, and for that I apologize. I know you and yours mean well, I do. But I'm telling you, God's and the heavens is my witness. We've got nothing left to give. We can't help you. I understand. Thank you for your honesty. She may say it, but she doesn't mean it, nor would I expect her to. Her father was stubborn as Knox too. If she's set on walking the same path, I but pray she won't follow it to the same end. Well, she took it better than I anticipated, which isn't saying much, I suppose. We should go and see if she's alright. Okay, search for Lise. Is there a button to say, Lise, Lise, where are you? Uh, apparently not. Has there a Okay, I wish the delivery Moogle could see Lise. Apparently not. Uh. Oh, ran into wall. Oh, sorry, fence. Oh, there she is. Oh, I should speak to the chocobo keep very quickly. Although I'm not going to use him, I'm going to use my own bird. Thank you. Well met, Traveler. May I introduce you in Chocobo Porter? Ah, do not tell me. This is your first time to the stop. I shall update my register with your name so you may access this location in the future. There we go. And... Oh. Two fences. Sorry about running off like that. Alamegans terrorizing their own. I just can't accept it, you know? No matter what he thinks, they shouldn't have to put up with it day after day after day. I'm not completely naive, you know. I didn't expect them to storm a castrum with their pectasses and shovels or whatever it was. But nor did I expect Rokrata just to lie there in the dirt while they kicked him. I can't claim to know their pain. I barely remember this place. Or even my father's face. But I remember Yida's. I remember how scared she was when we ran. And that look in her eyes when she talked about home. Her home. But not mine, is it? There you are, Lise. I've been looking all over for you. Well, you found me. Got something else to say. Aye, that I do. I, um... 
I said some things before that I shouldn't have. It wasn't my place to do so, and I'm sorry. All that rubbish has spread how I love my village, but when one of ours was in need, I was cowering here with all the others. I didn't even think to go after Werakrata, but you did. It made me feel like, like the bloody hypocrite I am. If I truly care for my people, I'd fight for them. And so I will. If you'll have me. You're asking to join the resistance? When you put it like that, I, um, I suppose I am. But not just me. There are others I know who have been thinking about it for a while now. There's not many of us, and we're not hardened warriors like you lot, but... If your heart bleeds for Alamigo, then that's good enough for me. You and yours are more than welcome at Ralgar's Reach. Yay! So it wasn't totally fruitless. We got one. Well, potentially more than one. Thank you, sir. You won't regret this. I'll go and speak with the others and send word when we're ready. Still think this isn't your home? N no, I, I was thinking out loud. And with that, my friends, our mission is concluded. Let us return to the Reach. And I think probably what's going to happen is after we've returned to the Reach, that's probably going to be it for today. So let's go back to Rogers Reach. Oh no, no that's not the one I wanted. <laughs> that's here. <laughs> That'd be bad. Uh, no, that wasn't it either. Uh, Ellie, learn to read. It's not that hard. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, reading comprehension fail. Uh, let's see. So, where am I going? Oh, I can do that one. What's that one? Northeastern. Okay. Ethernet. Northeastern. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I didn't necessarily need to look it up on my map. It would tell me otherwise. Good to know. I'll try to remember these things. And then next time, what we'll do is we'll do Monago's quest, or quest, for that matter. Oh. First of all, allow me to commend both, uh, commend you both on a job well done. Through no though nothing went according to plan, we nevertheless managed to attract some new recruits. And it was your passion and conviction that moved them to join. Thank you. No, thank you for giving me an opportunity to find out what our people have been through these past 20 years. It's been humbling and troubling, too. I'd heard about the skulls, but this is the first time I'd seen, in, seen them in the flesh. I know you say they're the same as any other Imperial soldiers, and maybe that's how I'll have to think of them but, uh, myself if our paths were to cross the battlefield, but... When, not if. That day will come, Lise. We can't afford to hesitate when it does. Young, old, conscript, citizen, Garlean, Alamegan. None of that matters. They've all got their reasons, but they're no better than yours, especially when they're beating, bearing down on you, blade in hand. Saying that, I don't want to kill them any more than you do. If I could convince them to lay down their arms, I would. Sadly, I've never been much of a talker myself, but who knows? Maybe you could be one, Lise. Your father certainly was. Oh, so her father was somebody that was part of the resistance, but was he like a leader then? Well, he's managed. He sounds like he was somebody that could convince a lot of people to to rally to the cause. Hmm. All right then. I best begin preparing for these new recruits. Elise? Elise? It's been a pleasure. Oh, yay. Nothing for me, though. All because... 
the job I'm on right now <laughs> wasn't necessarily around during this time. All right. So what we'll do is we'll do Monago's uh, quest series next time. But yeah, that'll have to be next week, unfortunately. But it was good to see everyone and chat with everyone. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of activity in the chat today. And thank you so much for that. Uh, hope to see everybody next week, though. And so let's see what else. Um, there is next episode of Persona 5 Royal that's coming out tomorrow. And I hope to have like a extra trails video out for Monday. I'll learn more about. Okay, thank you, uh, Hitten. I'll learn more about him later. Fantastic. Um, I do want to do a video reaction for the Stormblood trailer. I'm hoping to find some time this weekend to do it, but I'm not too sure. Then I'll have to do the editing and everything else afterwards too. So I'll see if I can get that done and ready for some time this coming week. And then that way it's available for everyone. But again, thank you so much for coming by today, guys. I do appreciate it. It was wonderful chatting with you all. And I hope you will come by next week starting at 2 p.m. Eastern on Friday. And what we'll do is we'll do Nago's Quest and see what else will discover in Stormblood. But again, thank you so much, everyone. And yeah. Oh, start watching your trails plays from the very beginning. But boy, do they get really slow. Yeah. Um, trails just start off really slow, but that's because they're trying to build the world out and expand. They're just building the foundation. So yeah, it does start slow. It does get better. I promise you that. It does get better. So yeah, if you can keep at it, if you need to do it in little spurts, feel free. But yeah, it's it's a real wonderful journey. But again, though, everyone, thank you so much for popping in and for coming by. Please look out for the videos up ahead. And I will see you next week. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day and a fantastic weekend. Bye.